Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they said it's taking too long to cut. And if you can see, we got some open nodes here. Um, they're just not connected. I mean, they're lying. So if we could, if you were going to cut this, it's not terrible, but if we take the pick tool and pick that line right there and then hold down the, or click the tab key and you can see the order it's going to cut. So it evidently was going to cut the bottom one first, then go around. So it's cutting the lines and that's not terrible because it's going to cut all the lines, but it's just, when it gets to some other parts, let's just do the tab key all the way down and it's not getting these right here, but that's not terrible. The tab key shows you your cut order, but there are some other problems like this is a line, you know, this is a line, that's a line, everything's just a line. Now the smart fill tool is going to be our friend here, but the smart fill tool can't cut that, can't take that line into consideration. So this item is less than three inches. So I've set my nudge factor of three and I'm going to take that line. I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to take that line and nudge it over, nudge it over. I'm taking all the lines that are open lines and nudging them. Now I'm going to take the smart fill tool. I'm actually going to set it on a red. No, let's set it, let's set it on black so we can see it. And I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to move it over here with the same nudge. And then I'm going to left click, right click. And you see, we still have those lines. Whoop. And if we take the pick tool now, that is all one object. So it's going to cut. So let's put it back to where it was. We can break it apart by going to object and break the curve apart, but you can see the outline now is a total outline and will cut in an order. Now, if we take our tab key, it's still going to cut that box. There's a few that are off, like it's, can't really back up, but it's going from there to there. And then it's missing that one and going back to that one. That's not terribly bad. As long as it doesn't jump around, you know, we could fix that, but it's gonna, unless you're gonna have to do, produce a hundred of these, let's take this out of the picture and let's open up the Windows Dockers Object Manager. And you can see that there is all these curves. So it's actually gonna pick, let me move it where we see it. So every curve is pickable but let's go to this. There's the outside of the box, which is going to cut last, which is very important. Let's find out where these lines are. So it's going to cut that line first, that line, that line, that line, and that line. That's not terribly bad because then it's going to start cutting the curves on the bottom. And if we just use the tab, well, the tab key doesn't work in this scenario, but if we just keep going up the hill, so it's going from that cut and then it's going to cut the other ones last. The only problem that I saw with the file is if you looked at, let me, let me back up to where we have that other file next to it. If we look at those individual, you know, there's no, it's not, they're not, they're not closed nodes they're just broken lines where the one I did with the smart fill tool is a solid box and is going to cut as a solid box. It's actually part of a curve. So we go to object, break the curve apart. We can move that solid box around and it's complete. Unless I'm misunderstanding the gentleman, that's all you need to do is when you have a problem like that. If not, I'll make another video when he gets back to me. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.